Spanish with Michelle Thomas, recording six. So let's review the go-go's once more. So give me some of the go-go verbs. Salgo. Salgo, okay. Tengo. Tengo. Mm -hmm. Pongo. Pongo, yes. Pongo, I put, yes. Salgo, I leave, I'm leaving. Bango, I'm coming. Okay. Argo. Argo, I'm doing. Mm -hmm. For making. Digo. Digo, I'm. Supongo. Supongo, I suppose, yes. <laughs> I have. Tengo. Tengo. And I bring? Traigo. Traigo. So if you want to say, uh, bring it. Lo traigo. Positive imperative, the positive command, you hook on the pronoun. Mm. So bring it would be? Traigalo. Right. Traigalo. Traigalo. Bring me something would be? Traigame. Right. Right. Algo. Traigame algo. Mm -hmm. Don't put it here. No. Don't put it here. No lo on go. No lo pongos. I'm not putting it. Don't put it. Now, now you have the imperative, the command. Don't, don't you put it. No lo, no lo ponga. What's more? No lo ponga. Yes, but only one push. No lo, no lo ponga. No lo ponga. Here. Aquí. Aquí. Yes. The word for there is allí. So aquí is here. Allí is there. So put it there would be, now you have the positive command, the positive imperative. Put it. Pongalo. Pongalo. Ahí. Right. Pongalo ahí. Right. So, so once more. Don't put it here, put it there. No lo ponga aquí. Yes, no lo ponga aquí. Put it there. Pongala, pongola, ahí. Wait, wait, wait. Pongalo. Right. Ay. Pongalo. First of all. Pongalo. Pongalo. Ahí. Ahí. Right. How would you say, uh, I'm doing it? Lo hago. Lo hago. Mm -hmm. How would you say, do it? Agala. Low. Right. Agalo. Agalo. Do it. Agalo. Don't do it. Don't do it. No lo aga. Right. No lo aga. No lo aga. Don't do it. How would you say, uh, say it? Say it in Spanish. Dígalo. En Espanol. Dígalo en español. How would you say, tell me? Dígame. Right. Dígame. Dígame. You will hear that a lot. Tell me. Dígame. Dígame. Don't tell me no. No me diga ahora. Right. No me diga ahora. If you're talking to Roberta, don't tell me. No me digas. No me digas. No me digas. To call is llamar. Llamar. Yes. To call the llama in Peru, llamar. Double L A M A R. Llamar. To call. Yeah. I would just say, uh, call me later. Please call me later. Call me later, please. Mm. 
may now remember that in the positive command in the positive command you have to you have to hook on the pronoun but only in the positive command not in the negative command so call me would be Yamami, Yamame, Yamame. How would you say it? Yamame. What's wrong? Yamame. Right. Yamame. Yes. Switch tracks from A to E. It's Yamar becomes Yamame. It so happens, however, and though I didn't want to bring it in now, but since you said it, it so happens, it so happens, however, that what you said, Yamame, is also correct. It just so happens. Yamame would mean call me if you're talking to Roberto or to Roberta. Because that's the only time, the one and only time, when you do not cross over, when you do not switch tracks. It's in the positive imperative to Roberto, to Roberta. You don't switch tracks and you don't even use the S. So what you said, Yamame, was correct. Talking to Roberto, to Roberta saying, call me. Yes. But if you're talking to senor, senora, senorita, and you say, call me later, once more will be, yame me. Yes, but don't forget the, the push. Yame me. Right. Yame me. Yame me would be, call me later. Yame me. To, uh, what is to have? Tener. Tener. We have? Tenemos. Right. Tenemos. Mm -hmm. What is to do? Hacer. Hacer. We are doing it? Lo hacemos. Lo hacemos. Right. Now, Let's look at uh, to have once more. Again, to have is? Tener. Tener. What does you have? Tiene. Tiene. What would be they have? You all have? Tienen. Tienen, that's right. You, Roberto, have? Tienes. Tienes. We already did. We have. Will you go back to the verb? Yes. Tenemos. Tenemos. And I have a segogo. Tengo. Tengo. Yes. But let's look at it again. So we have the verb is to have. Tener. Tener. And you have. Tiene. Tiene. It's actually curious because tener, for you have, now in pushing down into the present tense, should be actually tene. Tener, tene. But you already have learned that it is tiene. I'll show you what happened here. But what happens is that in Spanish, under stress, when you push down on an E, it caves in. It splits into IE. That's why you have tener, tenemos, yes, fine. Yes. But the moment you push down on, and you want to say, you have, instead of tene, yes, it started with tene. Then, under stress, you push down on the E, 
it caves in and it splits into IE. That's why you have Tiene. For I have, in sticking in a G, it holds up the, uh, uh, the E, Tango. There you wouldn't say Tiengo, Tango. Let's take now to come, which is Benir. 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 We're coming. Benimos. Benimos. Mm -hmm. How would you say he's coming? Bene. Right. That's the same thing. Yes. Instead of Bene, you push down on the E and it caves in and splits to Bene. Their coming would be Bene. Bene. You, Roberto, are coming. Bienes. Bienes. But I'm coming. The second in the G becomes Bengo. Bengo. Yes. No. No, it holds up the E. Yes. Bengo. Let's take to begin, to start this commentar. To commence. How would you say I'm starting? Comenzo. Push down on it a little more. Comenzo. And what will happen to the E? And pushing down on it. Comienzo. Right. And that's what it is. Comienzo. As I'm starting. You are starting. He is starting. She is starting. It is starting. Would be. Comience. Well, what kind of verb is it? Because we have two sounds to play with. Comienza. Right. Comienza. If you say comience, you, you now switched tracks. And what would that mean? A command. Yes. Or just start. That would be the imperative, the command. Comience, comience, start, start. So at what time are you starting would be? A que hora? A que hora comienza. Right. A que hora comienza? At what time are you all starting? A que hora co Comienzan. Comienzan, right. A que hora comienzan? At what time are you starting, Roberto? A que hora comienzas? A que hora comienzas? And at what time do we start? A que hora comenzamos? Right. So for we... Back to the verb, comenzar, comenzamos, a que hora comenzamos. Instead of uh, comenzar, you have another verb in Spanish for to begin to, to start, empezar, empezar. So empezar, if you want to say I'm starting, would be? Empienzo. Empezar, there's no N. Empiezo. Right. Empiezo. Yes. You push down and it splits into IE also. Empiezo. At what time are you starting would be? At what time is it starting? A que hora? Empieza. Right. Empieza. Yes. A que hora empieza? At what time is it starting? Akira and Piazza, La Pelicula. La Pelicula is the film. To think is pensar. To be pensive. Pensar. So I think would be. Pens, pencil. Pien, pienso. Right. Pienso. Push down and it splits. Pienso. What do you think? Okay. Piensa. Right. Que piensa. 
piensan or que piensas, depending on who you're talking to. What do you think of the uh, situation? Que piensa of the situation. De la situación. Right. Que piensa de la situación. We, we think. Pensamos. Pens hmm? Pensamos. Right. Pensamos. Yes. The verb is pensar. Pensamos. We think. To think is pensar is also used in the, in the sense of thinking forward or planning. If you want to say, uh, uh, I plan on leaving soon. In Spanish, you say, I think to leave soon. Which would be? Pien, pienso, pienso, pienso salir pronto. Right. Pienso salir pronto. When do you plan on leaving? Cuando? Piensa salir. Right. Cuando piensa salir. Uh -huh. To understand is com com comprender. Comprender. I understand would be comprendo. Comprendo. Yes. Here we have the e that is locked in between the. R E N D so it it, it holds it holds up it, it, it doesn't cave in you wouldn't say comprendo comprendo holds it yes. but there's another verb for to, to understand in Spanish which is entender entender if you want to say I understand was was entender would be and entiendo it's uh, used more than comprender comprender to understand to comprehend or entender so entiendo so i don't understand i don't understand it would be no lo entiendo no lo entiendo i don't understand you no le entiendo and i don't understand you uh, roberta no so instead of le, te, no te entiendo. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you understand me? Roberta? Me entiendes? Right. That was clear. Me entiendes? Uh, we don't understand. No. Entendemos. Right. No entendemos. In uh, reading, if you see in the present tense an IE, and you, you don't you don't know what the, the verb is, but usually from you can deduct that the verb will have just the E. For instance, you know that I I want is quiero quiero. You want he wants quiere quiere. They want you all want quieren quieren. You want Roberto Roberta quieres quieres. Mm -hmm. You all want. Quieren. Quieren, right. Now, we have an IE here. I never give you the verb to want. Can you guess what it should be? Querer. Right. That's exactly what it is. Querer. Yes. So, querer is to want and then you now also know how to say we want, which is queremos. Queremos. There it is. 
queremos. We have a similar situation with an O. A verb that has an O, an o pronounced O, in pushing down on it in the present tense, the O caves in and splits into UE, which means that in reading, for instance, and you see a verb with a UE, you can now guess the infinitive, the verb, what the verb would be, for instance, try to deduct. We had I can is puedo, puedo. Yes, we have a UE here, puedo. You can, he can is puede, puede. They can, your can, puede, pueden. Roberto, Roberta can. Puedes. Puedes. What would be ah? But first we have to establish what is the verb in English of can. You cannot say to can. What you do in English? To be able. Right. Thank you. <laughs> to be able. Yes. Because the future tense in English of I can do it is I will. You cannot say I will can do it. I will be able to do it. So it, in English we have a little problem with can because the infinitive, the verb, is to be able. No problem in Spanish. In Spanish, of course, you know, you know now you have a UE, which means that to be able, what would that be in Spanish? Poder. Right. Poder is right. Yes. So you see the O under stress when you push down, splits into UE. That's when you have to puedo, puede, puede, and puede. But the verb to be able is poder, and now you can give me we can, which is... Podemos. Podemos, right. That's it. Poder, please. El poder is a noun and would be the power, to have the power. So you see the English word power and poder are in a way connected. So poder is to be able and el poder the power. I gave you the verb to find, to encounter, you remember? To find, to encounter is en Do you remember it? Encontrar. Right, encontrar. Encontrar. How would you say I find? Encuentro. Correct, thank you. Encuentro, yes. So from encontrar, you push down on the O and it splits into U E. Encuentro. So uh, I don't find it. No lo encuentro. Right. No lo encuentro. To, uh, to remember is recordar to record. I remember would be recuerdo, 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 recordar. is not
Señor, a, a que ahora well, who, what is that? Am I coming oh. back? Well, well, then, right? A que ahora well, when, yes. are you all coming back? Well, when are you coming back, Roberta? Well, pass. No, well, this. Right. A que ahora well, this. We are coming back soon. Volvemos. Right. Volvemos. Pronto. Pronto. Right. Volvemos. Pronto. Of course, for, to come back, you can also say regresar, to regress, which is easy, regress, so and so on. Yes. But volvemos used the lot. So here you have the situation was O and and O and E. Yes. When you push down, caves and splits. To lift up is levantar. Levantar. To raise, to lift up. It's like the Levantine countries. Yes. Why Levantine? You know that? Levitan countries, if you look at it from, uh, if, especially from continental Europe, it's, these are the countries where the sun rises, the sun lifts, lifts itself up. So that's why one called those countries the Levantine countries. Yes. So Levantar is to lift up. So I'm lifting, I'm lifting it up would be. No. Levanto. Right, lo levanto. Lo levanto. Why don't you lift it up? Okay. No, no lo levanta. Right, a little more push. Le, levanta. Right. Por qué? No lo levanta. Levanta. Okay. You can also say, I'm lifting myself up. I'm lifting myself up. Myself is I'm, I lift me up. Which would be? Me. 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 Levanto. Me levanto. Me levanto. I lift me up. I lift myself up. That means I'm getting up. So for to get up in Spanish, you lift one, one lifts oneself up. So me levanto is I lift myself up. I'm getting up. We, we are getting up would be, we lift us up, and us is nos. So, we are getting up would be, we lift, we lift ourselves, or we lift us up. Nos levantemos. What is the verb? Levant. Levant. Levante, levantar, right, levantar. So we are, we are lifting up would be levant, levantamos. Levantamos is right. And we lift ourselves up. Nos levantamos. Right, nos levantamos. Nos levantamos meaning, it means we are getting up. Nos levantamos. If you want to say, you're getting up, uh, Roberto. Te. Te. Levantas. Right. Te levantas. At what time are you getting up, Roberta? A que hora te levantas? Right. A que hora te levantas? And now for himself, for herself, for yourself senor senora senorita for themselves for oneself for everybody else self you use se se for instance he's getting up would be se levanta right se levanta 
So, at what time are you getting up? Señores or señora, señorita, at what time are you getting up? A que hora? A que hora se levanta? Right. A que hora se levanta? At what time are you all getting up? A que hora se mm -hmm. levantan? Right. A que hora se levantan? They, they are getting up soon, would be. Se levantan. Only one push. Se levantan. Right. Pronto. Right. Se levantan pronto. What would you say? I'm going to get up soon. Boya. Right. To get up. To lift myself up. Levantar. Me. Right. It becomes. It's spelled in one word, so don't break it up. Voy a levantarme. Right. Voy a levantarme. Pronto. But, uh, yes. Or I have to get up. Would be. Tengo que. Just don't don't wait for the que. Tengo que. Tengo que levantarme. Right. Tengo que levantarme. How could you say, we are going to get up soon? We are going, you remember? We are going. Vamos. Right. That's the one exception where you don't go to the verb to here. Yes. But vamos. So we are going to vamos a. Vamos a. So we are going to get up. Would be. Vamos a levantarnos. Right. Vamos a levantarnos. Pronto. We are going to get up soon. We have to get up. We have to. Tenemos. Right. Back to the verb tener. Tenemos. Tenemos as we have. And we have to would be tenemos. Okay. What does I have? Tengo. Tengo. And I have to get up. Tango K. Tango K. Yes. So I have to get up with me. Tango K. Levantarme. Right. Tango K. Levantarme. Now give me, we have to get up. Tenemos K. Right. Tenemos K. Tenemos K. Tenemos K. Uh, lift ourselves up. Levantarnos. Levantar. Levantarnos. Right. So say it again. Tenemos. We have to. Ten, tenemos que levantarnos. Levantarnos is right. So tenemos que. Tenemos que. We have to levantarnos to get up, to lift ourselves up. Tenemos que levantarnos. So at what time do we have to get up? A qué hora do we have to get up? Tenemos que tenemos que levantarnos. Levantarnos. Right. Levantarnos. A qué hora tenemos que levantarnos? To remain is quedar. Quedar. Spelled Q U E D A R. Dar is to give. Yes? To donate, to give dar. But kedar is to remain. And to stay. In Spanish, you say to remain oneself, which is kedarse. 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 To remain oneself or, or to stay. So if, if I remain myself, me quedo, me quedo. So I'm not staying would be until cuanto. And how much time would be cuanto tiempo. Tiempo is time. Cuanto tiempo, how much time or how long. So 
I don't know how long I'm staying. I don't know. No sabo? No. It's one exception. Why? For you know sabe, yes. But I know is just a very short little... No se? Right. No se is right. It's no se. So I don't know how long I'm staying. No se? How much time? Quanto tempo? Right, quanto tempo? I'm staying. I'm remaining myself. Me quien? Me quedo. Me quedo. Me quedo. Yes, me quedo. Yes, so me quedo is I'm staying. I'm remaining myself. So no sé cuánto tiempo me quedo. Or you can say, I don't know how long I'm going to stay. No sé cuánto tiempo. I'm going to stay. I'm going to remain myself. Voy a quedarme. Right. No sé cuánto tiempo. Voy a. To remain me, to remain myself, quedarme. No sé cuánto tiempo voy a quedarme. How do you say, I don't know how long I can stay. No sé cuánto, cuánto, cuánto tiempo. Right, cuánto, cuánto tiempo. tiempo. Mm -hmm. I can stay. Puedo. Was only one book. Puedo. Puedo. Quede. Quedar. Me. Right. Quedarme. Yes. Quedarme is spelled in one word. Yes. Quedarme. To, to remain myself. Yes. Quedarme. How would you say, you know, we are staying. We remain ourselves. Nos. Quedemos. The verb is quedar. Quedar. So nos. Nos quedamos. Nos quedamos. We are staying. We are going to stay a few days. We are going to stay here a few days. A few is more than one. One is uno. And dia is day. Days would be dias. And more than one day is unos dias, a few days. So we're going to stay here a few days would be? Vamos a. Vamos a, right? Quedarnos. Right, vamos a quedarnos. Quedarnos, spelled in one word, to remain ourselves. Vamos a quedarnos a few days, more than one day. Uno, unos, unos, unos días. Right, unos días. Usually, words ending in A are la words. Few exceptions. Dia is an exception. It's el dia. That's why you say buenos días. It's an exception. Words ending in O usually are el. But la mano is the hand, it's an exception. And M-A words, the R-L, they come from, from Greek. So problem would be problema, el problema. One expression that is used a lot and you will use a lot because you will hear it a lot, is I. I. I spelled H-A-Y, which means there is and there are. For instance, uh, for people you use gente, gente, spelled G-E-N-T-E. -E. The people's la gente. It's a lot word. So, uh, mucha gente would be many people, a lot of people. So, hay mucha gente aquí. There are many people here. Que 
AI. What is it? What's going on? There's no problem, would be. No, no I. Right. No I. Problem. Problemo. Problem. Problema. Problema. No I. Problema. There's no problem. They like to use it. No I. Problema. No problem. I don't know, would be. I don't know how long we're going to stay here. No sé. How long? Cuánto tiempo? We're going to stay here. Vamos a. Vamos a. Quedarnos aquí. Right. Very good. No sé. I don't know. Cuánto tiempo? How much time or how long? Vamos a. We are going to. Vamos a. To stay, to remain ourselves. Quedarnos. Quedarnos aquí. Uh, a useful little word also is todavía. Todavía, spelled T O D A V I A, with an accent. Todavía. Todavía means still or still more. Todavía un poco would be a little more. Still, still more, a little. Un poco means a little. Un poco. Poco, spelled P O C O. What is uh, late? Más tarde. Más tarde is later. Oh. Yes. Tarde. Tarde. Later would be? Más tarde. Más tarde. And a little later would be? Un poco. Un poco. Más tarde. Right. Un poco más tarde. Yes. Un poco más tarde. And todavía is still more. Todavía is also used in the negative sense for, for yet. For instance, if you want to say, I don't know yet, in Spanish you will say, still I don't know, which would be? Todavía no sé. Right. Todavía no sé. Still I don't know. Todavía no sé. Still I don't know how long I'm going to stay. How would you say that? Tod todavía. 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 No. Todavía. No sé. Todavía no sé. How long? Cuan cuánto tiempo. Right. Cuánto tiempo. I'm going to stay. Ah. I'm going to. Voy a quedarme. Right. Todavía no sé cuánto tiempo voy a quedarme. What is to see? Ver. Ver. We see. Vemos. Vemos. Es la, vemos. We see it. Lo vemos. Lo vemos. Uh -huh. yeah. How to say, uh, he doesn't see it, or you don't see it. No lo ve. Right. <laughs> no lo ve. Yes. But I see is veo. Mm -hmm. V-E-O. Veo. Yes. They, they see it. Lo vemos. That is, we see it. Oh. They see it. Lo ven. Lo ven. Right. So once more, we see it would be? Lo vemos. Lo vemos. How would you say? We see. We see ourselves. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. We don't see ourselves. No. Nos vemos. No nos vemos. We don't see ourselves. That <clears throat> ourselves business in Spanish has. Two meanings. It can mean, for instance, nos vemos can mean we see our, ourselves. It also means each other. There's a reciprocity in the reflexive. So nos vemos, we see each other. 
And that is used a lot for we meet. We see each other, we meet. So if you want to say, at what time do we meet? At what time do we see each other? Would be, a que hora nos vemos? Right. A que hora nos vemos? So, at what time do we meet tomorrow? Would be, a que hora nos vemos mañana? Right. A que hora nos vemos mañana? In, uh, in Spanish, you use very much the present tense to express the future. So uh, to say we meet next week is correct Spanish. I called you later. Le llamo más tarde. Le llamo mañana. I call you tomorrow is correct Spanish, but incorrect English. You may have noticed Spanish speakers, when they speak English, even those who have a fairly good command of English, very often you will hear them use in English the present tense. They will say in English, I call you next week. I see you tomorrow. Yes, I see you. Yes. But they use in English the present tense, not because they don't know the future, which is easy in English. It's their own speech pattern, is in the present tense. They don't see why, don't you, why it should not be as correct in English as it is in Spanish or in French or in German to use the present tense to express the future. Of course, if you use the present tense, you have to give the, an element of the future, yes? yes. If you say, I, uh, uh, I see you, le veo, or te veo, is I see you. But if you want to use the, I see you in the future tense, you have to say, le, ve, le veo más tarde, or le veo mañana, le veo, la semana is the week, la semana que viene, the week that comes, is next week. So, uh, to call is llamar. So, I will call you tomorrow. Would be, I call you tomorrow. Llamo. But Llamo. Llamo. I call you. Llamale. No. Okay. Uh, what is uh, to buy? Com Com comprar. Comprar. I'm buying. Compro. Compro. I'm buying it. Lo comp. Lo compro, yes. I'm buying them. Los compro. Los compro. Uh, what is uh, I'm telling? Digo. Digo. I'm saying it. Lo digo. Lo digo. I'm telling you. Le. Digo. Le digo. I'm telling you, Roberto, Roberto. Te digo. Te digo. Yes. What is I'm calling? Llamo. I'm calling you. Le llamo. Right. Le llamo. I'm calling you, Roberto. Te llamo. Te llamo. Yes. So, I'm, I call you tomorrow would be? Te llamo mañana. Right, te llamo mañana, or le llamo mañana. So it's correct Spanish to use here the present tense to express the future. But what you use a lot in Spanish for the future is also going, which you use in English too, but in Spanish much more than in English. So you can say, I'm going to call you tomorrow, which would be, Boya, to call you. Yama to call is Yama. Right. Yamale. Right. <laughs> so once more, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Boya Yamale. Yes. 
voy a llamarle mañana, voy a llamarle. So, he is going with the whole book, internet, voy a llamarle. So we are staying a few days, or we will be staying a few days, you can use pleasant tense. Nos quedem, quedamos. Right, nos quedamos a few more than one. Unos días. Right, nos quedamos unos días. But you can also say we are going to stay a few days. Vamos a quedarnos. Right, vamos a quedarnos unos, unos días. días. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, at what time do we meet tomorrow? Would be at, the, at what time do we see each other tomorrow? A qué hora? A qué hora? No, nos vemos. Right. Mañana. A qué hora? Nos vemos mañana. At what time do we meet tomorrow? Do we see each other tomorrow? But you can also say, at what time are we going to see each other? At what time are we going to meet tomorrow? A qué hora? A qué hora? Are we going to is vamos a right vamos a to see to see each other Be, them no yes right tomorrow mañana right a que hora vamos a vernos mañana at what time are we going to meet tomorrow so here here you have the two options for the future tense but Going is very convenient because it gives you, you just use going, it gives you time to think. But you can also use the present tense. We'll see for the future tense. It's very simple too, like everything. For I will, you go to the whole verb, you use the whole verb. The verb. For instance, let's take. I will speak. Yes. To speak is hablar. 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 Mm -hmm. And for I, I will speak. You use the the ending re. You hit the r of the verb with an e, re. And you hit the ending, meaning that in spelling you have an an R E at the end with an accent over the E. So I will speak would be a blare. No, you hit, hit the ending. A blare. A blare. Yes. A blare. So that re means I will with any verb. So um, if you want to say I will eat later. Comare. Uh -huh. Tarde. Más tarde. Más tarde, yes. I will buy it. Lo compraré. Yes, hit the ending, always. Compraré. Right, lo compraré. I will sell it. Lo vendiré. Yeah. Always hit the ending, only lo yes. vendiré. This. The only, you know, you're only allowed one single hit, one single stress on any word. For for will is that one single stress, that one single hit is the ending re. Lo vendere. Right, lo vendere. To take is tomar. And I will take it would be lo Tomare. Right, lo tomare. So we have re for I will and remos for we will. Re and remos. Re and remos. Re, I will, and we will remos. Again, to, to take tomar, I will take it would be lo tomare. Lo tomaré. Tomaré. And we will take it. Lo 
to to buy moss. No. It, the same re, you, you oh, add the yeah. moss to it. Lo tamaremos. Right, lo tamaremos. How would you say, yeah, I will start. I will commence. Commenzare. Commenzare. And we will start. Commenzaremos. Commenzaremos. I will eat. Comeré. Comeré. And we will eat. Comeremos. Comeremos. I will uh, speak with you. Hablaré. Hablaré. Con usted. We will speak. Hablaremos. Hablaremos. Yes. So we have the re and remos. Re for I will. Remos for we will. So also for understanding and reading, whenever you see re and remos, that is I will and we will. Whenever you hear it, whatever comes before, yes, re would be I will, ba ba ba. And if you hear remos, ba 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 remos, we will, ba ba ba. Whatever it is. To wait is esperar. To wait and to hope, esperar. I will wait would be. Espere. What is to, to wait? Esperar. Esperar. Esperare. Right. You take the whole verb. Esperare. I will wait and we will wait. Esperare. Esperaremos. Right. Of course, esperaremos. What is uh, to stay, to remain oneself, is ked kedas, kedarse. kedarse. I'm staying, I'm remaining myself. Me kedarse. I'm staying. Me kedar. Kedar is a... Uh, is to, to, to remain. Mekedare. Oh, that was my next question. <laughs> Mekedare was correct for I will stay. But how would you say I'm staying? What tense is I'm staying? The present. The present, of course. Da. What do you do with the present tense? What happened to the present push? Okay, what is to speak? A blah. What is I'm speaking? Hablo. Hablo. Yes, push. So to stay is to remain oneself. Me queda. Me quedo. Right, say it again. Me quedo. Me quedo. Yes, the present tense. Present. Quedo. Me quedo. So you can say, I'm staying here tomorrow. Me quedo. I'm staying. Me quedo. Right. Me quedo. I stay. I'm staying. Present tense. Me quedo. I can't do right. Now, you can also say, I will stay. Mekedare. Mekedare. Oh. Right. Mekedare. Or, I'm going to stay. Oya kedar kedarme. Right. Oya kedarme. Yes. So you have in Spanish three ways to express the, the future. The present tense, mekedo. If for the future, me quedaré, or I'm going to stay, voy a quedarme. The easy way is using for the future, to, to just go into the future, I'm going to. So you go right into voy a, and you use the whole verb, quedarme, voy a quedarme. Okay. End of recording six.